Hello, hello, my nasties. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another vlog. Today's going to be a little bit different than usual. I am going to be, of course, doing a normal vlog and that it is a work day, but I think, I don't know, we'll see how long this takes and we'll see where my mind is at the end of it, but I think today we're just going to do a chatty let's have a packaging party type of vlog because I have received an influx of orders for my Etsy shop. If you are not familiar, if you are not aware, if you have not been keeping up with any of my social medias, if you are new to my channel, etc, 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 I recently tossed over 50 pieces of artwork. It was closer to 80, but it, no, was it 70 or 80? I don't even remember at this point. It was over 50, under 100. It was right around like 70 pieces total. We'll just we'll just pick 70. But I set a few aside. I put them up in my Etsy shop and I put them up for incredibly dirt cheap prices. I've never had an Etsy sale ever. I mean, I've always had items for sale, but I've never had discounted artwork. And now that I'm transitioning my shop away from selling originals, I wanted to give people who have been eyeballing my originals a chance to scoop one up super cheap. So now everyone can buy one. They were priced at $13 and $15. Yeah, I know. Ridiculously cheap, but it's awesome because a lot of them have sold. I still have a few left. There are a few. I think there are one, two, three. There might be four left in the shop. But anyway, because I received so many in such a short amount of time, as well as other orders for stickers and such, I thought, cool, I have enough filler content to fill an entire vlog with my just chatting and packaging orders. So that may or may not happen. We'll see. That's the plan. I have my incense stick burning. So that's kind of my timer. That will last about 40 minutes. So let's go ahead and get into the packaging. So I did already separate everything by order. That way I can streamline the process just a little bit. But you know what I didn't grab was backing boards. Kind of important. Okay, I went and grabbed the backing boards and now we can get started. So I'm going to take this opportunity just to chit chat with you all about whatever's going on in my world at the moment. Nothing that you don't know of. Um, new development though. I'm having my very first coffee. I, technically, technically, this is my second for the day. But my first coffee in over a month. I'm not quitting coffee or anything. I just switched to tea. But in any case, that's, that's our newest, freshest development. I am currently, as you all know, getting ready to open a boutique an online art and fashion boutique so that is where the majority of my mental space my mental capacities are going right now I have been doing a lot of photographing a lot of web design work just everything I am building this brand from the ground up entirely myself I'm building my website I'm writing all of the copy for the products, I'm taking all the photographs, editing all the photographs, sourcing all of the product with my vendors, I'm the one creating all of the artwork, the actual physical artwork that I'm going to be selling, everything. It's all me, baby, and it's a lot of work. But it's going great, everything is almost ready to go, we are almost ready to launch. Um, launch will not be happening for another... Um, I don't want to give a specific timeline, but we'll just say it's launching in the fall. Now, all that being said, so let me, before I continue on with the vlog, just let me give you a quick rundown of how I package orders. So I use, of course, purple. You know, the purple is my signature color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap all of the little items inside. Okay, so because this is kind of a special sale situation, and because we're creeping up on spooky season, I'm giving everybody a free sticker that features the cover artwork for my book, Bell Pipistrelle. Typically when I order or when I publish orders, everyone gets the business card, a cute little hand sketched thank you bat, a little scribble bat I call them, and then we package everything and go. But again, this time it's a little bit different. 
people are getting a couple of freebies. They're getting a sticker, and my international shoppers, please don't hate me for this one, but I can't ship these internationally because it will, this little, this item that I'm about to show you will add about $10 to the shipping cost because it makes the package no longer flat. So sorry, sorry, these aren't going to my internationals, but given that I've been going through and purging all sorts of old artwork, I found some old goodies, some old pin back buttons that I had used to carry, that I had used to carry, excuse my grammar, that I carried at one point in my Etsy shop, and these are the leftovers. I had a handful left over, and I'm going to be giving them out in all orders until I run out. So, freebie sticker and a freebie pen. And because Coco Nadi is on her way, and because I will be selling artwork on there, I'm going to be including a Coco Nadi business card in every order. So, we've been chatting forever, and I've not packaged a single solitary order. So, let's get this done. I think what I'm going to do is put the pin on the outside. I just don't want to damage the artwork at all. There is that, her little freebie pin, and everything, of course, surprise, surprise, is going into a purple envelope. Oh, come on, come on, come on. That order is done. Thank you, my darling Kirsten. I hope that's how you say it, right? Kirsten, or pronounce it Kirsten. So that was order number one. And I'm going to go ahead and package them all, and I will print the shipping labels in one swoop. Next on the chopping block, Helen. All right, so she's got this cute original. This is original artwork that made its way into a coloring book. I, oh my gosh, where are my bags? Oh, right here. So I had an idea for a coloring book and I ended up not going that route for that coloring book. I may someday. My God, excuse all the crashing and the noises. It's just chaos on shipping days over here. So <clears throat> I had an idea for a coloring book and then I decided to not create that coloring book because I had made a series of small five by seven illustrations, this being one of them. Now, this is not one of the pieces that was super dirt cheap. This is a newer piece. It's it's newer, it's fresher, it's more detailed. This is not a $13 piece, okay? But I say that because there are more of these available. There are a few of these in the shop if you would like to go get one, <clears throat> excuse me. And so what I was saying is I created a series of these Art Deco inspired ladies, my little retro 1980s Art Deco ladies. And when I laid them all out on the table, the idea hit me. I thought, oh, this would make an awesome coloring book. So I created deco dolls. These were the catalyst for deco dolls. It was only, was it four or five of them that I created? Something like that. And um, they became deco dolls coloring book. So if you would like that book, if you like this artwork, she's in there. I have a few left. I've, I have sold a few of them, but the ones that remain that are in the shop are this one, this one, 
this one and these two and this one is this one in the shop i don't know but in any case those are available if you would like to scoop one up and we've got my newest sticker well at the time of my filming this is my newest sticker pumpkin spice latte <laughs> cute and then of course the one and only the almighty ralph and we've got coco naughty thank you and my business card and the freebie bell pipistrelle okay you know what i kind of want to i'm going to package the in this instance the ralph and the pumpkin spice because since I'm sending the Bell Pip Bistrell sticker as a freebie, I don't want anybody to feel bad and think, oh my God, she accidentally included something that we didn't order because I do sell these in the shop. But again, this is a special circumstance and I'm giving them away for free. So there, that should make it clear that these are freebies. It is incredibly unfortunate about the shipping, but you know what? I think in this case, I mean, the shipping to international locations, the, the costs are so prohibitive, it is disgusting to me. But I think in this case, this isn't, I mean, these pins are pretty much flat, right? So, you know what? I'm going to put the pin in there. We should be fine. It doesn't... You know what? I think we're good. I think we're good on the pins. So, hopefully they don't get returned to me. <laughs> what I'm going to do, typically what I do is I would fold this in half. But that will add bulk. And I think that's where the problems come in the mail processing. So, we're going we're gonna to do a little... A little tricky busy business here and we're just going to leave instead of folding it like this and adding bulk we'll leave it flat so there's that Helen thank you uh oh I'm dribbling coffee condensation from my cup next on the chopping block is going to be Ms. or Mrs. Morgan and she's got this cute one. It is so bright. Morgan, I don't know if you are subscribed to my channel, but if you are, mark my words. When you get this in person, this is one of my favorite pinks that I use. And it is also one of the brightest and most obnoxious. When you get this and take it out of the package, you'll see what I mean. She looks much brighter in person. So, you know, big hair, big hair, eyeliner, funky accessories. You know how I do. I've been the same creature forever since, well... <laughs> I've been drawing that sort of thing for a long time, but even back then, 2017, still doing that thing. So let's get the backing board onto this one. Backing board. Boop. And then we've got, let's see, I need to I need to go assembly mode here. Assembly line mode. Usually when I'm not talking as usual, you guys know your girl cannot do what? She can't do what? She cannot walk and chew gum at the same time. Usually when I'm packaging orders, when you see them in my vlogs, it's boom, 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 wrap, wrap, sticker, sticker, done, right? But because I'm over here running my mouth, I just, I get a little discombobulated a little. So let's, let's get a rhythm going. So we've got business card, thank you, freebie sticker, Coco Naughty card, and what pin did I pull for you? This cute little pink pin up here. Oh, kind of matchy-matchy, kind of, sort of. All right.
Next victim on the guillotine is Wendy. Wendy's got some cuties from 2016. These were all part of my Etsy sale. I don't think I've been telling you which ones have been part of the sale and which one hasn't. The only one thus far that was not part of the sale was Helen's Art Deco piece. The rest of these have been part of the Etsy sale. So we've got a little gothic jackalope creepy girl sketch, a little gothic lamb girl sketch, just a little run of the mill garden variety, goth girl in a cemetery situation, she's chic, she's classy, and we've got a little spooky gothic doll type girl with her big old poofy skirt, there's a crinoline under there I'm sure, corset, cute, mm, all about it. These I'm going to, just for the sake of saving a little bit of packaging material, I will package all of these together. Will they fit this way? No. Okay, but they will well, so then you know what? We won't package them like this. We'll do should I put them like this? And then that. Then I will sandwich these between two pieces of backing board. Thank you, baby. Next on the chopping block is what do we got? Monica, oh my gosh, your stickers are falling. Monica has two stickers. Of, <laughs> Ralph has been making his appearances today. She's got the fabulous Ralph and probably one of my favorite stickers I've ever designed. This is, are we out of focus? This is my cover girl for Retro Deco for that coloring book. The colors on this one, the shape, it's just so 80s, so fabulous, love it. So let's get a little, I need a little bag. Oh, 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 oh my God. You know what, in this case, no, scratch that. I was gonna, never mind. Just, just never mind, just let me ramble this. I'm telling you, this is the chaos that is packaging day. My mind goes all over the place, just, Pardon me. Okay. Let's see if we're getting any better at this. My business card. My thank you card. Freebie Bell Pipistrelle sticker. Coco Naughty business card. And we're going to go through my little bag of tricks and see which one she gets. And she got... Oh, which one is this? <gasps> Ooh! Okay, this is one of... Okay, Monica, you did good, girl. You picked one of my favorite stickers and... This illustration is a tall illustration. It is one of my earliest illustrations. I kept this one. I still have this piece to this day. Almost sold it years ago. Changed my mind. Glad I didn't. It's called Franken Love. And it's the Bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein. But they're kind of in a little bit, kind of sort of a rockabilly style kind of ish. And she's choking him out. I mean, he's loving it, but... She's got a little smirk on her face. It's cute. Anyway, Monica, boom, you got a cool one. I mean, they're all cute, obviously, but it's one of my favorites. Yes, I favor some of my creations more than others. Don't lie and say you don't either. You've, you've got your preferred pets and children. Don't you lie to me. Listen, you love them all equally. Because I know some people probably said, <gasps> How dare you? I love all my children equally. I didn't say you didn't love your children and your pets equally. Okay? I didn't say that. Or your lovers. I don't know what your lifestyle is, okay? You love them all equally, but you've got a preference. You do. Don't tell me that's not true. I'll give you a perfect example, okay? Just so that people don't think I'm this vile, evil monster for saying so. I have no children. I have no desire to have children. But if I did... Okay, let's say I had twins. And let's say I had two twin boys, okay? I have two twin boys. One of them ends up being a jock, 
and the other one ends up being just the fruitiest, frilliest, glitteriest little twink on the planet, okay? I love them both equally, absolutely. They're my boys. We're going to get stereotypical here for a second, okay? Please, just allow me. The twink twin loves to do his nails, loves to have his hair done, can't stand doing anything masculine, kind of like me, right? I'm not going to get under the hood of a car and fix a car. That's what I pay AAA for, right? He has that kind of attitude. The jock boy will fix anything that breaks around the house, okay? Brings in all of my groceries, does, does all the fun stuff that I don't want to do. <laughs> fun stuff. Would I prefer to go hang out and play football with the jock boy, or would I rather go to the mall and buy the twink an outfit? See, my preference is to go shopping. <laughs> That's all I mean by this favoritism, okay? Relax. Don't get your panties in a twist. I will go watch the jock play football, okay, if he decides to become a football player in high school. Yeah, baby, you're my boy. I will go watch you play, and I will be that obnoxious mother in the stands. I will be dressed in my vampire regalia, but yeah, I, I'll be there for you. But if I have a choice on a Saturday afternoon, I'd rather go shopping with the twink with the glitter child, okay? Love you both, but that's my preference. That's all I mean. I hope you guys understand that. And these are the kind of bird walky conversations that you get on my channel that people hate me for. Carla's such a bitch. I hate her attitude, blah, blah, blah. Well, baby, there's the door. Get out. And please, kindly allow it to hit you on the way out because we don't want your kind here. That's the thing. People are accustomed to polished, cookie cutter, boilerplate type of conversations on YouTube, the safe kind where people don't really show you who they really are because they're too afraid of the numbers. Baby, I'm not afraid of losing subscribers. If you don't like what you're watching, get out. It's fine. You've got a million other options. Don't waste your life on me. If you don't like me, that's it. Because I've got people like Ms. Monica here who appreciates everything that I do. So thank you, Monica. That is your order. We're good to go. Next on the chopping block is Paula. Paula, 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 Paula. She has, these two were part of the sale. She got these for a steal. 100% original artwork, watercolor. Uh, this one was watercolor and watercolor pencil, I think. So, where's the, did I not grab enough backing board? One second. Oh. Got the backing board. super cute. I, I remember making this one. I drew this one very late at night. Lots of teeny tiny details. This one right here, this one was only 15 bucks, you guys. 15 bucks. I'm telling you, I got into a state of just, I don't want to throw it away. It's too cute, but I can't afford to give things away. So what's the next best thing? Almost give it away. So all of my artwork is going to people who love it and appreciate it because everyone who purchased from this sale, they only knew about it because they follow me on social media or they watch my vlogs or they watch or they see my YouTube community posts. So I love that. I love being able to offer at least just this once because I will never have pieces of this scale with this amount of detail for these prices again. But just this once, it was fun. It felt great. It's nice to start my new life. We're shifting the way that I run my Etsy shop. I didn't mention this in this vlog, I don't believe. But I'll go ahead and I'll talk about it now. That all of this, oh, before I get into it, let's see what she gets. My lovely little pink-eyed, saucy, tarty pinup. So my life is moving into another direction where I am evolving my Etsy shop into something different. All of the originals that I have for sale currently in the shop 
will only be available until the end of the year. I've had them in my shop for a while now and I figure whatever doesn't sell, whatever hasn't sold at this point, that's clearly a sign that I need to just get rid of it. So I'm going to, and by get rid of it, I think at the end of the year, we're going to have a kind of letting go of the past. Let's have some kind of, I don't know, we'll, we'll do a video like it. Maybe it'll be part of a vlog where I do like an art funeral or something. And whatever remnants I have left over of my old Etsy life and all of that, maybe we'll burn it. I don't know. We'll have a little bonfire. We'll do something. Maybe, maybe we'll see what happens. But my Etsy shop is going to be evolving into an entirely different animal. I have been seeing over the course of the past year and a half what my customers are looking for, what they want, and it is very clear that everybody wants more prints. I don't have enough prints in my store right now, so people want prints, they want more stickers, and that's what I'm going to be bringing. So I'm going to be dedicating a lot of time to designing product, which is going to be a whole new world of just cuteness. And I'm going to enjoy the process so much. And I, I can't wait. I can't wait to see how my Etsy shop evolves in the coming months, in the coming year, really, because this is going to be a slow process. Not exorbitantly slow that it's going to take me a million years, but it is definitely going to be a little bit of a process to get all of this done because it's going to be figuring out how to schedule designing and ordering of product and all that kind of thing but it's exciting it's exciting Paula baby you're good to go thank you Now, I want to say that this doesn't mean that I will never, ever have originals in my shop again. That's not necessarily the case. But for now, we're, we're changing direction a little bit. And it's going to be good. So if you want an original, you have until December 31st, January 1st, something like that, to scoop one up. Next up on the guillotine is going to be... Uh-oh, we got things a little bit mixed up here. Who ordered... I know this is Jennifer's order, this cute little goth girl, this little devil girl, but I know she ordered some stickers as well. Let's see, Jennifer, she got a little mini sticker bundle pack, Rococo sticker, the Day of the Dead sticker, and the mini sticker pack. These are both sticker packs. There are multiple stickers in that one, multiple stickers in this one. And I'm going to do, these are all going to share a bag. Okay. Well, this is, well, this is a cute little order. Yeah. Lots of stickers, gothiness. Got a little bit of everything in there. Business card. Thank you note. Bell Pipistrel. Ms. Coco Naughty. And another Frank and Love. Frank and Love going to Jennifer. And that is going to do it for the lovely, the delicious Jennifer. Thank you, darling. And is this last, but certainly not least, Ms. Mrs. Whatever you are, Shannon. Shannon ordered Morticia Adams and a mini sticker pack. I love this, the dichotomy here. Dark spooky lady. Spooky lady, but a bright spooky lady. And the stickers in here are quite bright, very colorful. Shannon, Shannon, Shannon. You know, I think if my memory doesn't fail me, I believe, and I don't know if she watches my channel, but she has been a fan and supporter for many years. And if I remember correctly, 
she's one of the people who purchased a ton of my macaron sketches, my macaron girls. This was a while ago. If you were not around at that time, let me explain to you what that is. So I created a coloring book many years ago, many years ago, a handful of years ago. This coloring book was one of the, it was the first time that I've ever had a major issue with my wrist and I was freaking out about it. And I kept myself busy by creating this coloring book, the Macarons sketchbook. Such a bunch of spooky girls themed around the idea of macarons because at the time when I busted my wrist, I had been consuming a lot of macarons. And so I came up with the idea to design cute little sketches, you know, in a cute little coloring book that you could just whip out with your cup of coffee and enjoy just like you can with little macarons. Just a couple macarons on your plate with your cup of coffee. It's a good time. No big deal. So what I did is I created a bunch of sketches. It was what? 50 sketches, God knows at this point, it was a lot of sketches. And every single one of those sketches, I created those on uh, colored paper, like just little pieces of paper that were colored and in different pastel colors. They were the colors of, of course, macarons. And I created those sketches and I put them up in my Etsy shop and I sold the sketches. They were all up for sale, they sold, they are no longer available and Shannon scooped up a ton of them. And there's a few people out there who did. They were on a collecting spree with the Macaron Girls and they picked up several. And I think people were making collages and gallery walls with them where they would put them in a frame and do like a rotating art piece. Very cute. So Shannon, I hope I didn't rant about the wrong person, but I'm confident that it's you, I think, or her if she's not watching. So... Yeah, that was that. Being nostalgic for my Etsy days. The Etsy days of yore, which weren't that long ago, but it feels like it because I'm telling you, my Etsy shop is going to be undergoing an extensive period of evolution. It's just, it's a little, you know, you get those, those feelings of nostalgia, happiness, a little bit of aww. I'm gonna miss the past, but it's fine. Who's she gonna get? Who is she gonna get? She's getting, oh, oh no, I dropped every time. Let's try that again. She's getting another Frank and Love. So Frank and Love's going out to Shannon. And that's going to do it for this little packing party. Thank you for hanging out and joining me. I hope that you enjoyed it. If this is going to be the end of this video, if this was just fully a packing vlog, then this is a vlog rather. I catch myself saying vlog. I don't even have a vlog. But anyway, if this ends up being solely a packaging vlog, thank you for watching. Take a look down below. Everything you need to know will be down below as always. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. If we are going to carry on carrying on in this vlog, then hang tight. We're not done yet. I'll see you in the rest of the vlog. I mentioned this in a vlog before, uh, recently actually, where my mailman and I had a little chit chat in my parking lot because I caught him while I was on the way to mail some packages. And I saw him and it was super hot outside and I was like, oh my God, thank God I found you. Now I don't have to drive to the post office. Here, can you take my stuff? Thanks, love you. <laughs> and he looked at me and said, girl, well, he didn't look at me at that moment, but he says, yeah, I'll take your packages. And then a few minutes later, he comes, knock, knock. Yes, Mr. Mailman, can I help you? And he's like, girl, you know I can come pick up your packages, right? And I said, I know that that's an option, but I've never taken advantage of it. And he looked at me as though I was crazy, and I go, okay, fine. Now that you've asked, now that you've offered, darling Mr. Postman is going to have to come by my apartment and pick up my packages tomorrow. He's a nice guy. Love him. Older gentleman, super sassy, always calls my dog a drama queen. Because, <laughs> you know, Bentley. Bentley hates all delivery people. 
Except for one FedEx man. I don't know where this angel from heaven came from. Did you send him, madam? But ages ago, there was a FedEx truck around the block. Now this is turning into a big old bird walkie conversation. So let's, let's, let's turn your attention over here to this dummy. Have you watched my Instagram reels? If they are still up, they should be up. But this idiot now has an injury that I can't repair. We'll figure it out. Anyway, I took Bentley for a walk. This was several years ago now. And we ran into a FedEx truck and I go, oh God, here we go. Because the dog hates all FedEx, all delivery, everything. He thinks they're all out to get him. And so this FedEx truck goes, wait, or this FedEx man, he says, wait a second. He jumps in his truck and he offers Bentley a treat. Well, this well, this isn't the first time. Get over here so they can see you while I'm talking about you. Well, I'm recounting our story of the FedEx guy. Okay, well, this isn't the first time he's been offered treats, but this is absolutely the first time that he's ever accepted a treat from a delivery guy. And happily, no bark, no growl, no nothing. The guy was a miracle worker. It was crazy, but okay. Are you enjoying your sweet potato? Huh? My little sweet potato. My little bean. My little nugget. So unfazed. It's as though I don't exist. Watch this. Nope, I don't exist. <laughs> and with that, we come to the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for joining me on this little it's a new little adventure, our little packaging party, if you will. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out and witnessing the chaos that is order packaging day. All of that being said, everything you need to know will be down below, including links to my website, my social media, and to my Etsy shop, where you can pick up pieces if you are interested, prints, stickers, and a handful of originals that I have left. Actually, it's quite a few originals. A couple from my sale and a few of my regular originals and I'm going to cut this intro short because I don't know if you can hear it but there's a cricket underneath my refrigerator and he's just or she or actually it's a male right males are the ones that do the little chirpy chirpy business well I am unable to film a voiceover because of his interruption so Thank you for watching I'm taking off now be bad be good I don't give a damn which just come back in one piece. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye from me and Mr. Cricket.